weight loss journey and uh, basically let me give you this is the best way to put it it's kind of like a fairy tale story so when I was younger my parents told me that my prince my knight in shining armor would come to my room rescue me put me on his steed and take me back to you know fairy tale land to my castle what happened was he did he came he picked me up took me back on his steed we went down to the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> and because he was driving and I was holding on for dear life, I didn't know where I was going. I let him take the reins of my life completely. And because of that, I fell into a deep depression. I gained a lot of weight. I had no self-confidence. I had no self-worth. And so he was headed nowhere fast. And um, my great husband has had his own transformation and his testimony is amazing. And so, yeah, I know he'll share that with you. But um, basically what happened is I had two choices. I could let him take me there or I can jump off, risk hurting myself really badly and find my own path um, or, yeah. And so I made that decision to jump off the horse myself. And I did, I fell hard and I scraped myself and um, I bruised myself, but I got back up and I found the courage to find my own trainer, I'm just talking about life, my life coach, who helped me get back on my feet myself. For the first time in my life, I got a, a job, a good job, a career, and uh, I got an apartment, I got a car, all on my own with no one else's help. I had two small kids. I started to build confidence in who I was as Nicole, and Nicole Steele, and um, what happened was I got on a ho my own horse with my own armor, started my own journey up that path to the castle. And before long, my husband saw where I was headed. He saw how far we had separated, and he wanted to join that with me. And so he did, and I welcomed him, because how much I love him. He, and uh, so now we ride on our own horses, on the same path, on the same journey, side by side, making choices together with our children alongside us. But that was, that was my journey, and my weight loss happened during that that self, um, the weight loss happened when I started to focus on myself and not on other people, and not on my husband, and not on my children, but on what I was doing, how I was contributing to society, how I was feeling, and I didn't blame anybody else. It wasn't his fault. It was my fault that I had allowed myself to get to that point. And so when I took ownership of that, that's when the weight loss happened. And I've had amazing people along the way people who have encouraged me to eat right, to work out hard, including my husband. He never pushed me to look a certain way or to act a certain way. And so he was just an encourager. When he got better, we encouraged each other to be the best that we could be. We contribute the same to our marriage now, and that's unbelievable. And um, so we have a great working relationship. We have a great marriage. We have wonderful kids, and God is really good. He is blessing me. And I thank Forrest and Arlene, and I'm so excited that we're partners with them. So I just um, encourage you wherever you are at in life, if there's anyone who you've allowed to take, re take the reins over your life, get it back and do it for yourself. If you don't do it for yourself, the weight loss is going to be short-lived. I've, te I've kept it off because of the fact that I did it for myself. You know? So I made choices, lifestyle choices. No fad diets, no diet pills, no anything like that. It was just eating right and working out hard and making that commitment to myself that I could be the best that I could be. So, and I'm still still on that journey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So thank you guys for listening to my testimony. Awesome testimony, Nicole. Very good. Wow.